happening everybody Your boy big brando and today i'm going to show you guys how i made this design right here now it's a very common question that i've been getting a lot of on tiktok and it's how did you get the pictures inside of the text so as a closer look you could see there's a lot of different images inside the text and it's very very easy to do a few things you're going to need is photoshop a computer and some cool ass ideas now as a brief rundown i'm going to show you guys exactly what i do in photoshop once i turn the camera around and put it on the computer this is strictly for the beginners this isn't professional graphic design advice this is just what i figured out and learned to do on my own so some of the steps are going to sound a little weird i'm not going to know the exact names of certain things so if you're a professional graphic designer or if you went to school for graphic design this is a fair warning that I am not a professional, but I am going to walk you through the steps on what I do to show you how I made this. Fairly easy, you're going to get a text layer, you're going to add some stroke to that text layer, you're going to take down the fill opacity, and then you're going to create a new layer underneath that with your image. All you do is put the text layer on top of the image, size it up so everything looks good, and then delete the excess around the text layer. So let me show you exactly what that looks like on the computer all right you guys been asking for it so here it is we are in adobe photoshop i set this up right here to five by five that's five inches this way five inches this way you could set it up to whatever size you want i'm just using five by five for the sake of the video you're going to come over here to the left side and on the left side you're going to find this little t and that's the text tool it's going to bring up this little cursor right here so there's our letter B. We're using a standard impact font. This tactic or the way that I do this works with any font you want. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna use impact font. People wanna know what the size is. It's set at 300 point right now. That doesn't matter. You could change the size and adjust the size depending on your own design size. Click this little check mark. Say you like that B right there. What we're gonna do now is come down to the layer panel right here. You're gonna see the T, that means that's there. That means there's text right here on this little layer. You're gonna see the letter B because we typed that out. Double click on that layer. Once you double click on that, it's gonna bring up the layer style panel. This right here is where you can bevel stuff, you can add a stroke, you can add the shadow, a glow, different color overlays, all of that good stuff. Today we're gonna to be using a stroke. So you're gonna click this check mark where it says stroke bingo see that it adds this outline the outline is called the stroke if you click on that you could change the size of that stroke you could go really big you could go really thin but for the sake of the video we'll use 30. it's colored red you could change the color right here to whatever you want we'll keep it at red because that shows up on the camera now when you go back up to blending options you're going to see one that says styles the next one says blending options click on that what that's gonna do is bring up this new little panel right here. There's two sliders on this panel. One says opacity, the other one says fill opacity. The very first opacity slider is the whole layer. Everything, the stroke, the text, everything can be adjusted right here. See, it looks faded, it faded, and now it's invisible. So we wanna keep the opacity all the way up on that thing. The next one is gonna be fill opacity. That is just the inside color, just the black part. So what we're gonna do is bring the fill opacity down. See that, the stroke is still there, but opacity is gone. So the fill opacity, you wanna get rid of that. You just want the stroke there. So that means just this outline is still gonna be visible to us. So regular opacity, all the way at 100%. Fill opacity, all the way down to zero. Now you're gonna click OK, bingo now we have our text with the outline around it now we need an image this one right here is from one of my homeboys his name's brandon also just like me but it's not my image this is the homie brandon if you wanted to look him up he is it's what it is on instagram and maybe i'll leave that in the description box if you want to check out really cool surf photography from southern california here's one of his images right here we'll use this to fill in that letter b so all I did was click on it and I'm holding it and now I let it go here. I'm gonna place it right there. Now, as you can see, this is blocking our letter B, right? So you go over here to this layer panel, see the cursor? All I'm doing is I'm gonna click, drag it and hold it down and bring it down below our B layer. So here's the image layer down here. 
and that's the bottom one the top layer is the letter b so i'm just going to come over here and then adjust this you could change the size of whatever you want um i'll make it a little bit smaller i want to try to get these palm trees in there so i'll bring it down make it a little smaller still and i want the curl of the wave to be in there also so bring that down and this is just going to take a little bit of time of just messing around with it so you can get it right and we'll bring it down a little bit more so we got the palm trees in there we got the curl of the wave let's make this a little smaller there you go so now we have all the palm trees in here curl of the wave everything is inside the letter b now what you're going to want to do is come up to this little square thing and then you're going to click on that and then over here see where that letter t is right next to the b i'm on a mac so i'm going to hold down command and then click on that letter t what that did now is it created an outline around the text now i'm going to hold control and then click and i'm coming down to select inverse so right now the outline is just around the b i'm going to click on select inverse and now that outlines everything around the b the reason i did that is now i could come over here to my layer the image layer and click delete and once i did that it deleted everything around the b and to get rid of the little dotted lines hold control down one more time and deselect bingo so now you have an image inside the text this is how I created that this city don't love you design and a lot of other designs where I put images inside of the text. This is all it is, is I just create a text layer, add the stroke, I take down the opacity of the fill, and then I add the image to the back, and then I delete everything. If you don't want to do that last step that I just did with um, selecting inverse and doing all that stuff you could always just take the eraser and just erase everything around your text if you wanted to go that route but this is the way I do it there's a million ways to do this thing this is the easiest way for me hopefully this helps somebody out all right there you have it very very simple pretty easy pretty straightforward for anybody that wanted to do this now I know there's gonna be a lot of people asking about different softwares can you do it in this software in this software I don't know i know how to use photoshop i'm not a professional at using photoshop but that's what i learned on and that's what i currently use now there might be other steps and other ways to accomplish the same exact end result and maybe eliminate some of those steps or maybe there's a workaround for certain things but this is just what works for myself so once you get this down you're good to go you could send this off to supercolor get a bunch of transfers made send it to transfer express get a bunch of transfers made you're good to go very simple concept very easy to accomplish and then you can make stuff that looks like this this is a super color transfer you got the watts towers in there you got an impala in there randy's donuts dodger stadium staples center you got a harley in there the venice sign the downtown la skyline all of that is inside of this t-shirt right here this city don't love you you can pick this t-shirt up on my website also this is what's on the front la with the chucks this is what's on the back. That same exact technique that I just showed you is how I made this right here. Don't forget, if you wanted to check out some cool surf photography, you could check out the homeboy Brandon at It's What It Is. I'll leave his Instagram information down below. If you wanted to order some transfers from Supercolor or Transfer Express, I'll leave the link for that also. And if you wanted to purchase this t-shirt in blue or black, it'll be on my website, bigbrando.com. Link for that's down there also. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments please do not dm me or email me it's easier to answer your questions if it's in the comments follow me on instagram big brando tv catch you guys on the next one man yeah